Chain in area. So in the box at the top, it says to find the shaded area. First find the area of the larger figure, then subtract the area of the unshaded. So let's just circle subtract. Okay. The larger figure is the outside figure. So let's write it as the area of the outside. minus the area of the inside, okay, or the unshaded part. So for the diagram above, we have uh, a 90 degree side to the same. It would be the area of the square minus that little part that's cut off in the corner is a triangle or that unshaded part. Okay, so the area of the square, the area of a square is side squared, so that would be 25 squared, which is 625. We'd subtract the area of the triangle, so that's one half. Base, what do we have a base of? Well, if this whole side is 25 and this little piece is 5, that means for the triangle, this must be 20 to have a side length of 25. So one half of 20 times. On the other section, it's a square, so this whole side must be 25. And if that's 10, 25 minus 10 leaves 15 for that part of the triangle. So one half of 20 is 10, and 10 times 15 is 150. So the shaded area is gonna be 475 yards squared. So example number one, find the area of the shaded region. So the shaded region is going to be the area of the rectangle minus the area of the circle. If necessary, round your answer to the nearest tenth. Because the area of a circle involves pi, that's why they're going to tell us to round. So the area of a rectangle, length times width. So that's going to be 40 times 10, which is 400, minus area of a circle is pi r squared. So looking here, this diameter matches this side here, which is 10. So if the diameter is 10, our radius must be half of that, 5. So minus pi times 5 squared. So minus 25 pi. Now that's exact, okay? Type that into the calculator and 400 minus 25 pi, please type it in with me. Okay, the decimal is 321.4601837. The tens place is where the four is and since to the right it is a six, it's gonna bump that up to a five. So the area is approximately 321.5. Include the unit centimeters squared. Two, uh, find the area of the shaded region. This time, leave your answer in terms of pi. We have two circles, OK? So that's uh, pretty easy. And it makes sense if they're both circles. So the area of the larger circle. minus the area of the small circle. So in pink, I'll do the area of the larger one. So in highlighting the larger circle, going from the center all the way to the outside, our radius is 6. So that would be pi times 6 squared. 6 squared is 36. So in terms of pi, that would be 36 pi. In orange, that smaller circle or inside circle, from the center to the outside, we have a radius of 4. So we're going to subtract pi times 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. We have 16 pi. So to finish, 36 pi minus 16 pi, treat the pi's as if they were x's. So you combine or subtract the coefficients out front. 36 minus 16 would be 20, and the pi stays. 
our unit, so square inches. Number three, the area of the white rectangle is seven square centimeters. So they already tell us this area. Well, that was nice of them. What is the area of the shaded region? Well, it looks like we have a square. It's four by four. Okay. So we're going to take the area of the square minus seven because they already told us the area of that unshaded part. So the area of a square is four squared and 4 squared is 16, so 16 minus 7 is 9, including the unit of centimeters squared. And the last one, find the area of the shaded region of the trapezoid below. If necessary, round your answer to the nearest tenth. So the area of a trapezoid, we know these altitudes are drawn perpendicular, and we have two right triangles on each side, one on the left, one on the right, and these are triples. So this is the three, four, five triple. Okay, and to find the area, oh, it just says find the area of the shaded region. So of the shaded region, okay, this will be easy, it's two triangles. So we have find the area of one triangle, so the area of the triangles is one half base of three times height of four. Well, half of four is two, and two times three is gonna be six. Okay, so the area of a triangle is six, and so the area of the shaded is gonna be two times six, because we have two triangles. So that's gonna give us a total area of 12 square meters. Wow, that was really easy. <laughs>